All right, so Fire Starter 5 is going to help you with the group activity. Um, basically, guys, whatever what the what your fire starter looks like is what your final copy should look like on your pink on your pink paper. The front side should have uh, a key that's filled in. Now, remember, guys, you only need 16 words because your message should be eight words long, and then you should have like eight throwaway words. Um, I did make the chart worth 30 that had like 32 spaces. Just that's just in case people wanted to make longer sentences. So you don't have to use all of that chart. That just has more than enough. All right, so this is what our fire starter looks like. It's got four equations. The box here, like I said, there's 16 words there. Only eight of them. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that could be. Um, I kind of made some of those words very similar. Now we're just going to solve those like we would on the, using the GPS. And, that's how, and then we're going to have our answers. All right, so it already equals zero. So number one is x squared plus x minus two. Remember, the first thing I do is make sure it equals zero. Once it equals zero, is use the GPS to factor. Three terms says so you write the factors of the first term. So how do I get x squared, x and x? How do I get negative two? Negative one and two is the only thing I can think of. Now, two and negative one adds up to be the middle, one x. So that's going to be your factored form, x minus one, x plus two. Now, since it equals zero before, it still equals zero. And since this equals zero, you get to do this. x minus one equals zero or x plus two equals zero. That means you're gonna, two simple solve problems. I'm For the first part, I'm gonna add one to both sides. So x equals one. And then I'm subtracting from both sides, so x equals negative two. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go back to here, I'm gonna look for one and negative two. So I find one, and it's mister. So I know that since I have x equals one, I'm going to put Mr. Now negative 2, x equals negative 2, is going to tell me to put Lewis. All right, now I'm going to go right on the number 2. So it already equals 0. That means I can start factoring it. So the first step is fight the factors of the first term. So to get 3x squared, I need 3x and x. How do I get 26? Well, 1 and 26, 2 and 13. Now remember, your adding shortcut doesn't work anymore because the number in front of x squared is bigger than 1. So I just have to guess. So I'm going to put 3x and x. And I'm going to guess 2 and 13. I don't know if this is going to be right. I just have to guess it. Now remember, it's still equal to 0. And remember, you have to show me that you check it using FOIL. So I do the outside. Get 39 set, 39x. Remember, that's the outside of FOIL. And then we do the inside. 2x. Together, that's 41x. Well, the middle is negative 41x. So that answer is really, really close, but it's not right. Remember, if you ever have the right number with the wrong sign, you just change both signs. So instead of 2, 2, and 13, I'm going to have negative 2 and negative 13. And that one's correct. Now remember, you're going to solve it. So you're going to say 3x minus 2 equals 0, or it could be x minus 13 equals 0. I'm going to add 2 to get 3x equals 2. So I add 2 to both sides, I'm getting x by itself, divide by 3, x equals 2 thirds. This one's really easy, just add 13 to both sides, x equals 13. So I'm looking for 2 thirds and 13. So I found 2 thirds is hate. And 13 is missing. All right, so that's it. Now I'm going to go to number three. So once again, it already equals zero, so I'm immediately going to go into my factoring. So I have x and x. How do I get one, 105? Well, I have one and 105. Two doesn't work. Three doesn't work. And four doesn't work. Five. Five works. Five and 21. Six doesn't work. Seven and 15. And I'm going to stop right there because seven and 15 is 22. So I know this is going to be x plus seven and x plus 15 as my factored form. Now, since it equal to zero, I get to set each parenthesis equal to zero. Really easy to solve. Subtract seven from both sides. So my first answer is x is negative seven. Subtract 15 from both sides on the other part. I get x equals negative 15. So now I'm going to go to my chart, look for negative seven and negative 15. So I find negative seven is four. So x equals negative seven is four. And then negative 15 is school. 
So right now we have Mr. Lewis hates missing. I bet school's going to go next. So remember, the order's probably off just a little bit. So I bet it's going to say Mr. Lewis hates missing school four. And then we're going to find out the next part. All right, so four is a little bit different because it does not equal zero. So I must equal zero. So to do that, I'm going to move the negative 5x over by addition. So I'm going to add 5x to both sides. Makes it cancel over there. I'm going to minus 24 from both sides to move it to over to the left side. So I now have x squared plus 5x minus 24 equals 0. Um, I could have moved the x squared over to the right side, but guys, I really don't like my x squared being negative. It makes things really difficult. So I always move my, I always, if the x squared is positive, I never move that. Now it's equal to 0, so I say x and x. How do I get negative 24? Well, negative 1 and 24, which is not going to help me because I want 5, not 23. Negative 2 and 12 is not going to help me because I don't want 10. Negative 3 and 8 is going to help me because I want 5. So I'm going to say x minus 3 in parentheses, x plus 8 in parentheses. So now I get to set each parentheses equal to 0. I'm going to solve. Add 3 to both sides. x equals 3. And then x equals negative 8 by subtracting 8 from both sides. So I'm going to go over there and look for 3 and negative 8. So I found 3 and negative 8. So I'm going to say x equals 3, which is going to tell me reason. And x equals negative 8 is going to tell me any. So I bet it's going to say Mr. Lewis hates missing school for any reason. And that's my message. Now, this next part is going to tell me about, is going to explain how I got that message. So, if you're struggling on the pink paper, here's what you do first. You have to have your message. So, let's just say I'm talking about Mr. and Lewis. So, then I said on my chart, I made my chart, Mr. is 1 and Lewis is negative 2. So, then you start with the answer. So, this is how you're going to do this, guys. You're going to start with the answer. Now, remember, you want your answers to go backwards. So instead of x equals, I want it to equal 0. So I subtract 1 from both sides. I add 2 to both sides. So I just work backwards. Now since they're both equal 0, I get to put them in parentheses next to each other. Both equal to 0. And then I FOIL. I end up with x squared plus 2x minus 1x minus 2 equals 0. So my final answer was x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. And that's how I got the problem. So if you're struggling, like I said, that's exactly how you're going to do the entire thing.